the French top flight returned after the World Cup break. Reigning champions and league leaders Paris Saint-Germain resumed their quest for further glory as Strasbourg visited the Parc des Princes. Christophe Galtier was without World Cup winner Leo Messi, but did have silver medalist Kylian Mbappe back. It was a foul on him that led to another man looking to leave his World Cup woes behind him, opening the scoring. Neymar picking out his compatriot Marquinhos for a free header. Easy as you like. Likely an important morale boost for the player who missed the final penalty as Brazil crashed out of the World Cup quarterfinals to Croatia. Julian Stefan's worries are far closer to home. He'd been hoping that the six-week break had given his side a clean slate after a disastrous start to the season had left him 19th in the table. He nearly saw them fall two down soon after as Mbappe was released by a Jezinho Nyamzi slip. His shot too close to Matt Celso. Visitors did conjure up a chance of their own. A nice team move culminating in Kevin Gamero receiving the ball totally unmarked on the six-yard line. But Gianluigi Donnarumma doing well to come out and smother the chance. And Ludovic Ajok unable to contort his limbs sufficiently to put away the rebound. Barassing kept up the momentum and the strike partners combined again. Gamero finding the big number 25 in the middle. But again, Donnarumma's presence enough to snuff out the opportunity. It's the second half and they will get their reward. And whatever the opener may have done for Marquinhos' confidence, the second would likely undo it. Clumsy pass from Marco Verratti and then unfortunate for the centre-back as he deflected across into his own net. Sergio Ramos hoofing the ball away in frustration. Donnarumma kicking the post in frustration. Not the first unfortunate block for Marquinhos in recent times. And he will likely be happy to leave 2022 behind him. And 10 minutes later, things would get worse still for PSG. Neymar into the box and hitting the deck. The referee not impressed and in fact giving the forward a second yellow card. Two yellows in two minutes. Certainly minimal contact if any and Neymar off for an early bath. His fifth red card since moving to France, the joint highest in that period. would be no changing the referee's decision. At least now likely able to have a New Year's party. PSG pushed on despite their numerical disadvantage. But Mbappe's shot held comfortably enough by Celts. But just when it looked like all hope of a win was lost deep into injury time, the ball threw for Mbappe in the box. And this time the referee was convinced when a PSG forward hit the deck, pointing to the spot. Marquinhos briefly wheeling away, thinking he'd got a hat-trick of sorts, albeit with one at the wrong end. But a penalty was the decision. No contact between feet, but a hand on the arm of the forward sufficient for the referee and those reviewing in the VAR box. Mbappe, of course, the man to take it. And if there's one thing the Golden Boot winner has shown he can do recently, it's dispatching clutch penalties. 2-1 PSG. The points wrapped up in the 96th minute. And this time, a satisfying conclusion for the French superstar. So PSG pick up where they left off before the break, generally getting the job done one way or another. They extend their advantage at the summit. Strasbourg fall further into trouble, still with just one win this season.